Afternoon Express, and yes, it's time for Winner Home. So we're going to follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty properties at Veldevi Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. And at the end of it all, we're giving away one of those completed apartments worth over three million rand to one lucky viewer. Now, being one of the most well-known and established real estate companies in South Africa, as well as having a close relationship with private property, SIF is a force to be reckoned with as they carry expert advice and years of experience when it comes to all things property. And today we have company director Samuel Seif in our loft specifically to focus on property on a property that they have an exclusive mandate on, a beautiful and magnificent three-level mansion valued at over 20 million rand. Well, I think it's 20 million rand. Samuel Seif, welcome to Afternoon Express. Thank you for having me. I mean, I get hot flushes when I think of a house this gorgeous. I mean, for, for, for years on top billing, my favorite inserts were going into some of these magnificent homes. So having a look at this one, it's called Salt Rock Mansion. I mean, it's just stunning. Tell me a bit about this property. So it's a wonderful property and it follows the first rule of properties, position, position, position. It's yeah. literally uh, a short walk to the edge of your garden, at the bottom, across the road and you're on the beach. So first prize, you tick the box, it's fantastic uh, position. Uh, secondly, it's a double uh, earth. So it's twice the size of the normal plot, brand new home, it was a cottage uh, in its uh, previous life and uh, taken down, rebuilt to absolute perfection by the owners. Uh, they travelled and do travel extensively overseas, so they brought back a number of different ideas uh, to make this uh, particular home special. Five bedroomed, wonderful entertaining areas and uh, yeah. a great, great position, as I say. It's definitely something amazing to have a 20 million rand home on your books. But if you look at the value of this, I mean, this home is situated on the Dolphin Coast. That's correct, yes. So, North I mean, you're getting a lot for your money. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So I think when one looks at that and you see the five bedrooms, the entertainment areas, it's got a lift in it, uh, it's got a special... Uh, indoor outdoor section yeah. uh, that can be utilized either as a guest house can be utilized as a, a large family home yeah. if you compare that to some of the properties in the rest of the country along the coast it's still relatively cheap yeah so one now has to consider if you're looking at in uh, cape town in camps bay clifton yeah. uh, nettleton road easily for the same property you would pay three even maybe four times so wow. a 60 or an 80 million rand price tag wouldn't be high for that kind of a property in Cape Town. It was actually in the newspaper today. So Dolphin Coast, for those of you who don't know, is in Durban or just outside of Durban. North. And it was actually written in the paper today that Durban, for if you want more bang for your buck, Durban is the best place to live. I think rentals are 50% more expensive in Cape Town than what they are in Durban and 25% more so in Johannesburg. Absolutely. So, so again, it comes back to the position in Cape Town. You've got a shortage uh, of accommodation. You've got yeah. the mountain on the one side and the sea on the other. And a little bit of what Cape Town has to offer in between. Yeah. Shortage of space, fewer properties, prices go up. Johannesburg being an economic hub, a lot of people go there to make their careers and, and, and earn their fortunes. Exactly. Uh, being on the further on the north coast, just uh, slightly north of Belito, uh, there's space, you're on the sea, fantastic, fantastic value uh, to be mm. had in that area. I was actually there yesterday for a shoot and I've got to say, I mean, the fact that it's glorious weather all year round is just, a, you know, a selling point for yeah. me. It's a massive place. Plus, plus the temperature of the water. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, you can yeah. swim there. But now let's go back to this home because it's got these gorgeous white walls, such amazing space. It almost looks like a house that would be situ situated in one of the Greek islands. It does. Uh, actually, interestingly enough, uh, I'm off there in a couple of weeks, so I'll be able to oh, compare personally. Jealous. <laughs> but uh, that aside, I think one of the elements of this home is the entertainment factor. So they've got a lot of indoor, outdoor uh, areas which are absolutely uh, fantastic and when you when you look at it we had a launch last year we had our international uh, referral association with Hamptons from the UK and we had the launch in that particular house we had over 50 or 60 people you didn't even feel like it, it was, you felt you were sitting a lounge with four or five people so oh, wow. it caters to entertaining in a in a terrific manner uh, you've got a great lifestyle of the indoor and the outdoor with the views um, something special no question now tell me about the inspiration though behind the design because I mean it looks like it lends itself to to ocean and also quite cozy private living as well yeah so I think that as I said earlier the owners have spent quite a lot of time overseas and 
uh, incorporated a lot of their travels into their mm -hmm. home. It has been a labor of love, and you can, you can see it uh, in the style. Uh, one of the things that they've looked at is it's kind of a, a Moroccan Mediterranean influence that they've wanted with the indoor and the outdoor flows. Uh, and with a very important key, as I said, on entertainment. And that's been the central factor throughout the house. Yeah. Now, you know, every time I go into private property, the good thing is you can put your, your brackets of your what your budget is for your home. And I always like to put, you know, around 20 million rand for my, just to see how hard I've got to work in my life. But who is your target market? Who's going to buy this kind of a home? OK, so I think that what has happened in that particular area of Salt Rock is a lot of prominent Durban families have been buying properties in there and they're potentially uh, somebody who would like to live in that area, hasn't got the time to do the property up themselves, can come yeah. in, uh, I would assume, with a large family. You're not coming there with just a couple. It's, uh, it's somebody with a, a large family, uh, extended family, wanting to have private spaces within the home as well. It could and does lend itself very easily to be used as a guest house. Uh, okay. equally as well. So you'd be able to live there and rent out rooms if that was uh, uh, your choice. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for coming through and chatting to us. It's been more than a pleasure. Thank now, you. when it comes to beautiful properties like the Salt Rock Mansion, we feel so inspired and our dreams come alive to call such a property home. Remember that you have until tomorrow, the 16th of June, to vote for your favourite guest bedroom and you stand a chance of winning paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand. You will also automatically be placed into the grand prize draw where you could win one of the completed apartments worth more than three million rand. When a home is brought to you by private property in association with Nedbank. We'll be right back after this.